Hello everyone, welcome back to Quick's 14 blog, our add-on special. So we continue going through it here, starting out with uh, Grid. Grid's a wonderful little uh, healing uh, and a uh, utility mod that a lot of people like to use, good for raids, groups, parties, etc. Uh, I use it a lot. Personally, you've seen anyone who's watched a lot of my uh, blogs uh, for quite a while now have seen me use it. I use it in concert with Click A, which I'm going to go over after this, but first is uh, up with Grid. Grid's very powerful and also very flexible. Um, not only does it take up little space or as much space as you'd like with its format, which you can change, uh, but you can even set it up to give you specific information and feedback back at, at your will, as you can see here in the options uh, for what you actually want the frames to look like and what you want them to specify. Uh, whether it's for aggro, uh, being poisoned, uh, healing, or or whatever, you can you can specify it for whatever you want. The layout is pretty pretty up, up obvious. How you can set it up for for groups, whether you want it with tanks, pets, just the actual players, things like that. So there are definitely tons of options. I don't want to. I don't have really have time to go over every single one and how to do it. Most of it is straightforward. If you want more detail, I know there's at least a couple of videos up on YouTube that go into more detail of a grid uh, tutorial and about how you can set it up and change things and add things. So if you want to get more into depth and how to change uh, grid, especially the frames uh, and how they're laid out besides the default, uh, go ahead and do so. The only thing you really need to know, in my opinion, is how to set up your warnings the way you like, and that can all be done on frame, and it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Just go under like border and check which ones you want to be specified, like aggro. If you want to know when somebody gets aggro, just check that mark under aggro for border, and a little red border will come around their little grid icon and you know they have aggro and you can start throwing hots on them for example. A whole bunch of information, a whole bunch of stuff here. Grid is really, really, really useful. There are a few uh, obviously add-ons, plugins that you might want to grab for it as well, especially for healer's side. So I suggest you all do that. Of course it has foobar, titan panel, and uh, normal minimap support as well. And of course you can download it from any major uh, site, UI site. Like I said, the other uh, program I use specifically with Grid is Click A. Now, Click A can be used not just with Grid, but with any uh, layout UI frame base. And uh, how this works is really, really cool. It adds a little button here to your uh, spellbook called Click A Information. And this is really, actually, it's not too hard, but it's really, really powerful. Uh, you have a few different options here default, you know. Uh, out of combat, in combat, and uh, aggro, and and uh, hel helpful and harmful, actually. So we have out of combat here. You saw me cast using a key combination, my shift left click to do that. Adding a new one, very easy. As you can see there, you can change it to whatever you like, whatever key combination you can think of. Very, very simple, and it's not um, limited to just abilities or spells. It can be anything from a macro to an inventory item to uh, or to, uh, to a specific thing on your icon or button on your bar. Anything. And what's really really neat about Click A is that you can of course set it to any uh, frame UI you can think of. It's also very flexible. Of course, it has a different. See, here's the actual frame bars. This is what actually activates where uh, frames will actually do it. As you can see, I only want grid set up. But you can set up for all kinds of other the other frame bases, whether it's X Pearl, whether it's the base frames from WoW itself, or any other uh, UI you have, Ice HUD, so on and so forth. It doesn't matter. They have all those options there. So it's not limited to just grid, and it's not limited to just healing. This could be used for rotations and for attacking and things of that nature. As you can see, it has many different profiles. It also even has a uh, switch. So if you have two different, uh, you know, if you have a couple different uh, specs, you can actually have a switch uh, profiles for those specs. And of course, you can put in your own very, very simply. You 
you select whatever icon you like, and of course the key combo, and then what type you want. So for example, one of the common ones I like to use for some of my tunes is First Aid for actually doing bandages. So um, I'll actually add that into here. Um, it is for pretty much all my characters. I don't have it in my uh, Druid for some reason, so I'll go ahead and actually add it here for you. So what, what I'm going to do is I, I want the icon for First Aid, so I'm just going to use it for First Aid. And then I'm going to change it from there to the actual item. I'm trying to find a key combo that I haven't used already. I'm very limited in my key combos, but obviously you can use whatever key combo you like. So what I'm going to do is I actually clear this out. I change it from an actual cast uh, spell to a use item. And you know, like I said, you could do with actual slots. And if you don't want to do the name, but in this case I actually put the name out. And I just type it out. I check make sure it's the right one and then I'll show you how it's done uh, again you can find this this is an awesome add-on love it and with using click a it gives you that heal bot functionality without all the problems that can be common with heal bot so I suggest every healer uh, check it out at least and uh, of course you can find that at any major add-on uh, UI add-on site and there you go so that's all for this part. Coming up next, we are going to cover uh, a bit about my UI and also uh, Cast Yeller.